All right, here we are at our 2019 Cobalt CS23 Surf. This is a 23 feet, eight inch length, that, and that is your length overall. Eight and a half feet wide. Comes in about 3,700 pounds dry weight. And this is a surf model. Cobalt's actually, uh, actually made for a few years now. And as you can see, we got the uh, the sport tower, got the cobalt logo on it, as well as your Roswell board racks, also with the cobalt logo right there in the center of that. And we've got the patented uh, flip down platform that I've got in that lower position right here. Um, there's a little hinge on the other side or, or a little knob you're gonna pull out and you can raise that up and down. Makes getting in and out of the water very nice. And convenient for just about all ages, maybe even some pets. This boat has been used here locally in the North Lake area. Currently about 186 engine hours on a Volvo Penta 300 horsepower inboard out, excuse me, an inboard outboard um, engine with a forward out drive. That forward drive is what is needed in order to surf on an IO boat on any um, I well on any sur uh, boat that you're surfing off of um, the, the propeller cannot be behind the transom of the boat the transom is um, is essentially where that platform meets the boat right where it says uh, surf now you might catch a little bit of the glimpse of the outdrive down there but the outdrive is um, essentially spun around and uh, the props are in the forward part of the outdrive hence um, hence why it gets its name the forward, uh, forward drive so uh, we do have some surf tabs with this one as well as some uh, ballast tank capacity. There is approximately uh, 1,433 pounds of uh, ballast capacity on this boat. And this is a great option for a family that is just looking to surf and does not want to sacrifice um, any of your ride ability in, in rougher water. Um, area like Norris Lake, um, an area also like maybe Lake Cumberland's another nearby lake that's uh, you know can get uh, get some rougher water out in the main channels. So with the um, with the forward drive, you're going to have a nice deep V on this model, um, and this is going to give you a nice basically your typical cobalt experience and smooth ride in in almost a 24 foot boat again 23.8. Um, again, the dryer weight on this one's 3,700 pounds. Now you throw some ballast in there, all of a sudden you're over 4,000 pounds um, loaded with your ballast. So this is going to handle rough water very well. Um, now it's it now it does have perfect pass, but um, I will tell you if you're looking for a wakeboard uh, boat or a boat that you can surf and wakeboard off of, um, a forward drive is not for you. Um, if you do want to be able to wakeboard, that's where you're going to be looking into just a true V drive, inboard model, uh, Malibu, Nautique, uh, to name a couple of those options. Um, but that's 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 really the only option. You pretty much have to go to an inboard if you want a boat's going to be able to surf and wakeboard and, and generally when in doing so, unless you're going um, and on one of the larger models, which is really going to take your uh, your price way up there. Um, you're, you're they're just not going to be great in rough water. Uh, but again, with this with this forward drive on some of these other manufacturers that you know typically will make an, an IO model boat um, is this is a great way to get a surf capable boat and and still like I said not not really sacrifice anything um, as far as your ride goes and being able to handle that uh, that rougher water so now as you can probably see I do have the interior lights in, in basically a demo mode that's kind of going through the full range of colors um, that you can essentially pick out your favorite in that um, and that's just to kind of showcase that uh, that lighting there. There is a um, snap-on cockpit cover and a bow cover as well as a mooring cover. We do have a umbrella bimini top on uh, mounted onto our uh, sport arch again with those uh, swivel Roswell board racks. And this one's rated for 12. We're going to go ahead and jump right on in, do our uh, video walkthrough tour. This one does have a 52-gallon fuel tank on board. Bridge clearance is about six feet ten inches, and that is with the tower in place. Um, 
I do believe that uh, that anchor light, which also doubles as your um, as your uh, tow point um, for pulling uh, your rotters, I believe that does have to come down to, to, to make that six foot ten bridge clearance. But anyway, um, as usual, we will have the full list of specifications, features, options, and all of that good stuff, as well as the current asking price, all of our contact info. That's always, um, as usual, it's all going to be over our website. Now, for your convenience, if you um, located this one at YouTube first and not at our website. Uh, we will have a direct link for the listing of this one over at our website, uh, which is www.yournewboat.com. Um, that's where you're gonna find the most up-to-date information, the status of this one, and again, all of our contact information. We'll have the full list of specifications and options and features um, on the write-up for this. And they'll also, once you do make it over to that uh, website listing, you're also gonna find a link back to this video tour. So. Um, if you don't want to leave YouTube and trying to figure out what we currently have available, I highly recommend uh, at the end of this video tour, there's going to be a link popping up in the top left-hand corner of your screen that will be a shortcut over to our playlist at YouTube. Um, that's a great way to just see what we currently have um, offered. Or you can also go straight to our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash yournewboat. Uh, you'll see two playlists there. One's going to be for sold boat models, and the other will be for current listings. So, um, again, we, uh, we reference our platform here. Um, at some point after I step on, I'll, I'll flip that back over just so you can see how that works. Uh, now, we do have a tow hook right here on the back of our transom right here. This is where you're going to want to pull anybody in a towable, um, it, your inner tube, um, any of your inflatables. You want to pull back here on this. The tower is not designed for pulling any towables. Uh, tower is for surfers and wakeboarders only. Now... Um, we do have a small little storage hatch right here. Now, Grant, there is a ballast tank right in here, so that kind of cuts into that storage a little bit, but this hatch is quite handy uh, for, uh, for getting some items out of there. That's a great place to put um, maybe a rope, something like that. And then we've also got a little pull-up uh, backrest right here on this sun lounge. Uh, of course, that also doubles as your engine compartment. Makes a nice uh, area for, for hanging out at, whether you're, uh, whether you're anchored, um, floating out in a cove. Uh, doing a little swimming or just taking a break in between uh, water sports and then we've also got the nice little walkthrough transom that you'll hear me talk about on all any model that's got that i do appreciate because that's going to keep um, your feet and mostly your shoes off of your uh, your upholstery in the boat uh, most most upholstery is going to be fine with bare feet but it's whenever you've got uh, shoes um, is when you you really want to avoid stepping on those seats at uh, when when uh, possible. So uh, before I do step in, I'll go ahead and show you um, our spinning board racks here on this Roswell board rack. You just pull that little pin right there. It's gonna swivel all the way over and then of course that pin will fall right back into place. Give it a little lift. Sometimes it takes two hands there. Give it a little lift and you can move it right on along over to the outside. All right, so stepping on down in, we do have snap-in carpeting throughout. And again, this one is rated for 12. Um, very clean boat, freshwater listing. Uh, really have not noticed any marks on the interior, just a few little marks on the exterior. We'll have some photos of that at the website. Uh, we've moved over here so we can walk around both sides uh, of this boat for our video tour. Um, whenever we're done inside, I'll do another walk around of the exterior. But we'll, uh, what little wear there is on the exterior, um, we'll have some close-up shots of all that over on our website. Uh, we do have a Rockford Fosgate um, stereo and is an AM, FM, um, USB, auxiliary input, um, Bluetooth. I believe we got the weather band on here as well. Let me power this head unit up right here. So that's our FM right there. I'm um, going to mute that just so I can go through our source options here. So there's your FM, AM, FM. Uh, this is your weather band right here. Uh, this is where you're going to get any weather alerts. If you're ever out in the water, that is your NOAA weather band. So um, some of these will kind of automatically kick over. Some of these automatically kick over that weather uh, band whenever you um, are in an area that gets a severe weather alert. Now going back to that source menu. So you've got AM, FM, the weather band, USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth, Pandora ready, Sirius XM ready, um, stereo. We do have... Uh, six speakers we've got and these are going to be Rockford Fosgate speakers we got four back here in the cockpit two more up in the bow we've got nine stainless steel cup holders throughout um, this is this compartment here is a nice self-drained uh, cooler 
storage. I've got our cockpit snap-on cover right there. That's going to be the drain right there for that little uh, self-draining cooler. Um, there is a little bit of storage under here. And again, we've got some ballast tanks in here. Uh, so some of that ballast does occupy some of your storage spaces. And then over here is where our dual batteries are. I like that these are uh, not buried in the engine room. They're easily accessible right here for whenever you do have to swap those out. You got a battery selector switch, or well, that's just a battery switch right there. Um, let's get that camera a little bit closer. See if that lighting comes on. Oh, I guess not. Um, you can do the uh, combination on that battery switch. That's basically going to be a, a on-off battery switch, but also has the ability to uh, to combine both of those for an emergency start. We've got the um, adjusting um, seat back over here for your passenger seat where you can go from forward facing to rear facing. There are cup holders um, just forward of that. Uh, nice large uh, dry box here, glove box right here. And then um, also a nice little uh, compartment right here. We got a little bit of uh, non-skid um, matting in here and this is gonna be your USB and auxiliary um, stereo inputs as well as a 12 volt charger in there as well. Let me turn on our other interior lights gonna be right here um, and then also let me let me take our demo mode off of our other lights and so now you can see it's one solid color nice little uh, warm glow a bit of a yellow hue and you can you can essentially just scroll through these till you find the shade you like it's going a little bit orange right here a few more to go into some reds And as we keep moving about, you get a little bit of a magenta right here. And this is, should go into more of just a white, be like a cool white. And then I think we got blue next. Um, and then after blue, I believe we're gonna go into, let's see, a green maybe. Yeah, shifting a little bit into like a um, little bit of a mint. And then, oh, there's that might, there's our white right there. And, I keep moving or does it stop right there? Okay, now here goes into the green and then over into the yellow, which is, I believe, about where we started. Yeah, and we are back there into that yellow glow. Uh, let me get dial this back into just that white to try to get us some light in here in our interior. There we go. So that's that's a little bit of a white. Give us some good light in here for the remainder of our uh, walkthrough video tour here. We've also got some. Um, yeah, um, interior lights right here. These are the additional interior lights. Now these are uh, this one here, and there's one up in the bow. Those are always just going to be um, the the uh, plain white. Um, the other uh, color changing lights also have um, two lights up here in the uh, the underside of your tower, your sport tower. So those also are going to change colors with you uh, whenever you're doing so. And, um, and then picking right back up kind of where we left off here. We do have the um, the flip-up uh, driver bolster seat. That seat's going to swivel as well. Uh, again, upholstery is in great shape on this one. Here's our capacity plate right over here, right here for 12. Stainless steel cup holder right there at your driver's seat. Got a small little uh, Volvo um, information, engine information display right here. Your ballast options are right here where you're going to be able to fill and empty um, all three different ballast zones. Trim tab controls are uh, right here for your throttle. You've also got your uh, surf options right here for surfing on the left side and the right side of your wake. Um, this is going to be your kind of drive trim. You can go to a manual mode right here where you can operate your drive trim right here on your throttle. Um, you can also go into performance mode where it's going to kind of maximize that for you as you're uh, as you're using the boat. Now some of these other uh, switches right here, um, not all of these are installed. Uh, essentially when uh, these boats leave Cobalt, uh, they're going to come with, um, with a lot of your switches here. Um, kind of the same, but obviously we do have the uh, interior lights. We did function test our bilge pump right here, and as well as that uh, blower uh, does not have the docking lights or the swim platform lights. Uh, now forward to that, we do have a nice little tilt steering wheel right here. 
just forward of that, uh, we've got your other uh, gauges right here. This is your zero off. This is a GPS speed control. Um, this is whenever you're, again, whenever you're, um, you're surfing, you'll be able to set your speed. Now you're going to move this throttle forward, and that's just going to beep when you reach that speed, and it's going to handle everything else from there. Uh, whenever you're ready to slow down, you're just going to pull back on that throttle, and you'll be, uh, you essentially take right back over on your uh, speed control. So that, that operates a little bit like cruise control in your uh, vehicle. Fuel gauge, drive trim gauge, battery bolt meter, and um, engine temp gauge, cluster gauge right here as well. This is your tachometer built-in um, digital uh, display here and then this is going to be your uh, your speedometer over here on the uh, far left side now when I do turn this key back to that on position we're gonna have these um, everything light up here you see that perfect pass um, or the that zero off speed control display pop up as well as um, right here on your your center gauge right here where you're gonna have those engine hours as well as that depth finder right there sure is that um, can't quite tell if that's showing up in our video screen or not this might have to have the right angle to see that uh, but we're showing 42 feet um, of, uh, of depth and uh, 185.6 engine hours and you're also going to be able to kind of scroll through these you're going to have an air temp gauge water temperature gauge uh, this is going to be a compass heading tells you what direction you're moving um, there's a digital tachometer engine oil pressure um, engine temperature battery volts and your drive trim and then back to your depth finder both those can do the same thing so pick out which two you like to have up there and uh and leave those options on so um let me turn this key back to the off position um we'll keep moving about here uh, i think we hit pretty much all the features right here in our center cockpit area um heading on up to our bow area i do want to point out uh we do have the the wind block feature right here um at your walkthrough so this will slide over. You're going to drop that, um, slide this pin over right here, kind of lock it in place. you got one on the floor there um, that already kind of fell down into place right there. And slide that right back over. Now, heading on through the walkthrough. We've got a nice little catch over here for that uh, bow windshield. And then we've got some storage under your seating up here in your bow area. Uh, four more uh, stainless cup holders. It's going to be a pair on the either side, port starboard sides. Two stereo speakers right here. We've got a, a anchor locker right here. Two um, two cleats, tie-up cleats up here. We've also got the quick release um, fenders, and we've got some storage right under here. Actually, I've got a pair of these fenders um, just sticking right in this compartment right here. I'll show you how these work. Just our quick release fenders, cobalt. I've got these. These are quite handy just pop that in place and now you want to want to push this button down you'll see that whole thing kind of goes down clicks into place it locks into place right there uh, whenever you're done with it you just push this button on top and then the whole thing slides right out and then you pull your fender out and get that fender back into that hatch right there where we had it close that off now over here on the other side um do want to show you this compartment here this is your fire extinguisher right here small little tool kit that cobalt gives you it's going to be um uh little clips where you'll be able to put your uh cover uh support poles and this right here is a small little air compressor for uh, your inflatables it's going to be a little 12 volt um air compressor where you can kind of plug you'll be able to plug that in and um and blow up any of those um inflatables uh, that we were just talking about earlier for uh towing the uh the kids or grandkids across the lake on so all right um i think we covered about everything in the interior except for our engine hatch let's go ahead and raise that now and here's that engine hatch again this is that volvo penta 300 this is going to be a v8 again this is inboard outboard fuel injected uh with that forward drive two large ballast tanks on the other side of that of that um engine right there nice clean uh, bilge here you can see we've got two valves down there for uh, filling your ballast um, tanks all that is essentially fully automated and yeah we'll go ahead and close that area right there again 185.6 engine hours on that um, oh while I've got that raised let me hit this uh, Bilge pump one more time. 
So, not sure if that uh, camera might pick that up, but that's did want to uh, confirm that was that was working. I know with that engine, anytime that engine hatch is closed, sometimes it's makes it a little bit more difficult to actually hear that ghost pump kick in. So, um, then again, of course, you got that little uh, seat back mm. right here. You can see how the hardware works for that right there. Lift that up, it's pretty much automatically going to drop right back into place. Um, give that a little pull right there and lower that right back down into place. And there's your nice little sun lounge right there. Um, so again, um, very clean listing right here. Low fresh water hours. Um, oh, those quick release uh, points, you're going to have four of those. You, you've got um, a pair on either side right back here uh, near the back third of the boat on port starboard sides. And, and then the other, the other pair is just forward of that windshield up there. So uh, before I do leave the interior, I do want to point out we got a, a umbrella bimini top right here. And um, we do have a little bit of wear on this bimini top right here. This is probably where um, their surf rope was, was rubbing just in extended use. Um, so do want to call your attention to that. Um, this can get patched up. Um, and this... Um, it's so a little bit of adjustment here. I believe this will do the tension a little bit. Um, so that, when I see that, that just tells me we need to take this bimini down to that lowest point right there. Um, I think that space is getting a little bit lower right there. But yeah, I would take both sides all the way down as low as you can get it to try to keep that rope off of there. Um, that was probably the mistake. Of course, by, probably by the time they noticed it, the, uh, the damage was already done there. So, all right, let me step, um, oh. Before I step off, let me also show you how this platform pulls up. So if you can see under the water here, there's that little pin right there. You can pull that out and then raise this up. See if I can do this one-handed here. There we go. Once you get that started, I'm gonna reach over and grab it with the camera hand and pull it on up the rest of the way. So that wasn't too bad at all. All right, let's step, um, let me step back off on the sides here and again um actually we're losing our lighting now so i don't think i'm really going to be able to point out a whole lot on the exterior uh so i'm going to refer you to the website again for your convenience down in that um down in the video description is going to be a direct link that's going to take you to our website that's going to show you our um our uh, photo slideshow tour and again all of our contact information current asking price you'll be able to reach out to us by phone by text and by email all right there at our website we don't monitor the youtube uh, comments. So if you do have any questions, if you want to get in touch with this uh, regarding this one, put in an offer or anything like that, schedule a time to come see it in person. Um, all you got to do is, is uh, use that uh, that direct link to our listing page. Again, that's there for your convenience. Copy and paste that uh, or click on that. Open up in a new tab or web browser. Uh, once you do make it over there, you're going to be able to, um, again, contact us all those ways. We do like to remind you, if you call us on the phone, you get a voicemail and you do want to return a phone call, please make sure you leave us a message. We are very frequently in areas without cell phone reception. If you don't leave a message, we won't know that you called. So if you leave us a detailed message, let us know which listing you're looking at, what questions you have. As soon as we either finish with the customer or get back into a better uh, cell service area, we'll get your uh, we'll get your voicemail, return your call, get all those questions answered for you. Um, then also, if you send us an email, if it's been one business day, you have not gotten an email reply back, please be sure to check your spam folder. We got a lot of our, um, our reply uh, replies end up in um, um, spam folders for our customers so check there but uh, a few little areas you're not going to really be able to see in the video and again in that photo slideshow tour you're going to be able to see all this we've got small stainless bow scuff plate just um, above that um, that bow scuff plate gonna be a few little marks in the fiberglass there um, and then a few other little marks let me get out of the light here in this black that with a good professional detail i think a lot of it will go away i don't think we're going to be able to see any of it right now we just lost too much light uh, again we will we will have all of that um at our um web listing to this one you'll see that photo slideshow tour um if you're if you're watching this on a uh, television or something not able to see that uh, that direct link um in that video description our website's easy. It's www.yournewboat.com. Uh, once you make it there, look for that Find Your New Boat button. It's going to show you all of our inventory and order price. Just scroll down until you get down to the 2019 Cobalt C, um, C23 Surf. It's a model on this one. And yeah, I, I 
or I'm sorry, CS3 Surf. They also make a, um, I think a C20. Um, what do they make here? Yeah, this is the CS23 Surf. They do make a, a CS23. Uh, again, this is the um, the CS23 Surf. Um, yeah, I just can't make that out. But there, uh, there were a few marks um, on the exterior. We'll have those in uh, photographs of those. Um, none of them looked um, looked uh, really bad, in my opinion. And I think about all of them will come out with a good professional detailer. There, there might be two that are a little bit more white uh, that the detailer might have some trouble with, but there were a few scuffs. I think mostly near this Cobalt logo right over in here is, is where those were. Let me see if we can see that from looking over the side of the boat. Bear with me here on the camera angle. Get this turned around. Let's see if you can see any of these. So right in this area right here, if that's showing up, a few little marks in that area right there. And again, I think a detailer is going to be able to remove that. A little bit of dock rash in this area right here. You kind of see those vertical lines going up and down. Um, I, I happen to know that um, another cobalt we just sold had the nice uh, black hull sides like this. There was um, a little bit uh, worse than this actually. And just about every bit of that de uh, disappeared with that good professional detail. So um, there was not a whole lot on this one that gave me concern for the uh, for the fact that, that it would not come out. Um, and I think this this area where we're at right now was kind of the worst of it with, uh, again, just that dock rash in some of those areas. Again, we'll have some photos of that. Um, you're more than welcome to, uh, if you got a detailer you work with in your area, send that to them. Sometimes they can uh, take a look at that and give you... Um, give you a good idea if that's something they can get out or not. I think over here on this side there was a few actually there was two areas of just kind of a white like a little bit of a um, slight scratch in the gel coat. Here they are right here and again um, in the in the photographs this is probably going to look worse than it actually is. Uh, video might be the same. Now my fingernail did just barely catch an edge right there on both of those. Um, but they do not appear to be too deep. I think most detailers will be able to get those out at, at, as well. Um, or this might be part of these two little marks right there. Might be the only marks that kind of remain after a good detailing right there. Um, there was one other mark just under the, um, the water line. Again, we'll have a photo of that as well over at our website. Uh, where you've got a little bit of a, of a scratch into the gel coat. Um, as well and, and that in my opinion I would have that um, at least sealed up um, especially if you're going to be leaving in the water Now this one's been stored up on a lift uh, but if any time that was not the case then yes you um, do you want to get that repaired or, or again at a minimum you want to get that sealed up um, there is no trailer included with this one we have um, lots of transport options uh, of course if you're, you're local to the area we'll, we've got plenty of options to be able to get it to you um, if you do need a trailer, feel free to reach out to us. Um, we work with several dealers in the area, can, and we can also get you a, uh, at least a quote for a new trailer um, at our cost uh, if, 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 in fact, you do need one. But again, if you just need this taken to you, uh, don't let the fact that there's no trailer included with it slow you down. We, we will have some options to get transported to you wherever you are. So that's going to wrap things up for this one. Again, this is the 2019 Cobalt. CS23 surf model for sale here on the beautiful fresh waters North Lake Tennessee uh, again I think I mentioned this one will be uh, is being lift store there's no transferable slip with this one uh, but again we do have options for you if you are wanting to keep it here in our area um, and you do not have a, um, a slip feel free to reach out to us we'd be happy to uh, discuss what options that we're aware of at the time um, and uh, if you got a preferred area of the lake where you're looking to be at uh, you know, again, reach out to us. Uh, we might might be able to help assist you in uh, locating something um, near near uh, one of your maybe more preferred choices. Uh, but again, this is 2019 Cobalt CS or, or yeah CS23 Surf for sale here again on the beautiful Fresh Water North Lake Tennessee. Now, one last time, there's going to be two things popping up on your video screen as this concludes. Top left hand corner is going to be that shortcut over to our current listings playlist. Top right hand corner is going to be a shortcut to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. 
uh, don't know what you're waiting for we're always happy to have you as a subscriber um, and we thank you uh, for uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel if you haven't already it's a great way to get notified of any new listings as they come available in our area um, and again that's gonna wrap it up for this one today and I thank you again for joining us